हेलो एवरीवन आई एम बालाजी राव वेलकम टू बी आर मैक्स क्लास दिस इज फर्स्ट क्लास इन लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग प्रॉब्लम्स लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग प्रॉब्लम्स आर इजी और डिफिकल्ट एक्चुअली लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग प्रॉब्लम्स आर वेरी इजी इफ यू आर गुड इन द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट्स इन क्लास लेवन यू लर्न द चैप्टर लीनियर इन that knowledge is useful in this linear programming problems however in second class i'll recall quickly all the knowledge that what we learn in linear inequalities class 11 in first class we are going to learn definitions related to linear programming problems these are little confusing but after doing one or two problems in the exercise you can understand them very easily In this class we will learn what is objective function what is optimal solution what is feasible region what are corner points all those things we are going to learn in this class before going to start this video please drop a like for this video and share this video with your friends in case if you are not yet subscribed to my channel subscribe now let's begin the class linear programming problems this is one of the easiest chapter in class 12 mathematics if you understand the basic concepts in this linear programming problems then this chapter is very easy this is first definition in this linear programming problems what is the definition of objective function a linear function of the form z equal to ax plus by You already know what is linear equation in one variable, linear equation in two variable like that. You see here, a x plus b y. What is this? This is the linear equation in two variables. What are the variables here? X and y are the variables. A and b are the constants. A linear function of the form z equal to a x plus b y, which has to be minimized or maximized, is called a objective function. which is also called as linear objective function what is objective function a linear equation of the form z equal to ax plus by which is to be maximized or minimized is called objective function i'll try to explain this with an example suppose a shopkeeper is having x number of max books and he is having y number of physics books After selling every max book he will get a profit of rupees 10 in the same way he will get profit of rupees 15 rupees after selling each physics book okay now the question is what is the profit that shopkeeper will get after selling all these books that can be calculated with a linear function in two variables see here i'll write a linear function in two variables 10x plus 15y with this linear function we can calculate the profit after selling all the books suppose the shopkeeper sells one max book and two physics books then what is the profit he will get you substitute these values in this linear function substitute what you will get 10 into 1 plus 15 into 2 okay then what you will get 10 plus 15 to sir 30 so he will get 40 rupees profit after selling one max book and two physics books why i am explaining all these things here see this is the profit function right we can calculate for what values of x and y this profit is maximum and for what values of x and y this profit is very less all those things can be calculated you observe here what is objective function a linear function of the form z equal to ax plus by which is to be minimized or maximized generally profit means maximize the profit right you see uh, maximizing this function so here this is called objective function throughout this chapter we'll use this word objective function objective function means what it is a linear function of this form ax plus by which is to be maximized or minimized is called objective function 
I hope you understand what is objective function. Next definition is constraints. We use this word very frequently while doing linear programming problems. What is meant by constraints? You observe here the linear inequalities. While doing this problem, whatever the linear inequalities we will get that are equations. Equations, they will give equations while doing the problem are restrictions. What are constraint means? Linear inequalities are equations or restrictions on the variables of linear programming problem including including x greater than or equal to 0, y greater than or equal to 0. See here these are called non-negative constraints. See x greater than or equal to 0, y greater than or equal to 0. That means x is positive, y is positive in first quadrant. Okay. So uh, are called constraints. What are constraints? Linear inequalities. While doing problems in this chapter, you will see linear inequalities. Linear inequalities means like this, you see. 5x plus, 5x plus y is less than or equal to 100. In this, inequality symbol is there, less than or equal to. This is one linear inequality. You see, this is another linear inequality. These things we will get while doing linear programming problems. Linear inequalities are equations or restrictions on the variables of linear programming problems. These things we will get while solving linear programming problems. Including these, const including these inequalities, these are known as non-negative constraints because x greater than or equal to 0, y greater than or equal to 0 lies in first quadrant are called constraints. So what is the definition of constraints? The linear inequalities are equations or restrictions on the variables of linear programming problems including x greater than or equal to 0, y greater than or equal to 0 are called constraints. I hope you understand this. Next definition is optimization problem. What is meant by optimization problem in this chapter linear programming problems? A problem which seeks to maximize or minimize a linear function. Here in this chapter linear function means linear function in two variables. A problem which seeks maximize or minimize a linear function subject to certain constraints as determined by set of linear inequalities is called optimization problem. Try to understand See, whatever highlighted things are there, from that you can understand this easily. There is a problem which is to be maximized or minimized subject to certain constraints as determined by set of linear inequalities is called optimization problem. I will try to explain this with an example. See, this is one of the problem given in exercise. They are asking like this, maximize this linear function. You observe. They are asking in this question, maximize this linear function subject to, you look here, subject to certain constraints determined by set of linear inequalities. See here, these are the set of linear inequalities. We can call them as restrictions, conditions to maximize this linear function, right? So here, this problem is there, no? this problem is called one optimization problem. What is this here? They are asking maximize this linear function under certain constraints, under certain conditions. So this problem is called optimization problem. Similarly, they will ask minimize so and so linear function under certain conditions. So that problem is one optimization problem. I hope you understand what is optimization problem. Throughout this chapter, what are the problems we will do? They are all optimization problems only. Feasible region. What is the definition of feasible region? You see, the common region determined by all the given constraints, including non-negative constraints of a linear programming problem is called feasible region. Try to understand the common region determined by all given constraints common region determined by all given constraints 
including non-negative constraints. Non-negative constraint means we already learned x greater than or equal to 0, y greater than or equal to 0 are called non-negative constraints of a linear programming problem is called feasible region. To understand this, I taken one example here. Please observe, uh, you may understand or may not understand right now about this, but when we do the problems, you will get clear idea. While doing linear programming problems, they will give one objective function and they will give constraints. Constraints means conditions or restrictions on that linear programming problem. Based on these constraints, we will draw the graph. You see, here, if we draw the graph of this objective function under these constraints, you got a graph like this. You can see this blue color part is there. Na? What is this? This is the common region. This is the common region determined by all the given constraints including non-negative constraints is called feasible region. That means, see, if you take one point here, suppose this is the point you consider. You taken one point in the feasible region. That point satisfies all the conditions. That point satisfies all the constraints. Right? So, what is feasible region means? It is the common region. It is the common region determined by all the given constraints including non-negative constraints of a linear programming problem is called feasible region. After doing one or two problems in this exercise, you will get more clear idea what is feasible region. What is corner point? Corner point of a feasible region. A corner point of a feasible region is the point of intersection of two boundary lines which forms the region. Corner point of a feasible region is point of intersection of two boundary lines which forms a feasible region. For example, you observe this blue color one is there, na? shaded part, that is the feasible region. If we got that is the feasible region, you see here, this is the one boundary line, this is the another boundary line. These are the boundary lines for the feasible region. So, the point of intersection of boundary lines which forms the feasible region. For example, this point is one corner point. This is another corner point. This is another corner point. You look here, this is another corner point. So, here four corner points are there for this problem. Okay. What is corner point? Corner point of a feasible region is the point of intersection of two boundary lines which forms a feasible region. I hope you understand this. Optimal solution. What is the definition of optimal solution? This optimal solution is also known as feasible solution. Any point in the feasible region that gives optimal value. Optimal value means whether it is maximum value or minimum value of the objective function is called optimal solution. Any point in the feasible region. What is feasible region? Just now we learned what is feasible region. The common region obtained by given constraints. You observe this example. This blue color part is there. No? This is the feasible region, right? What they are saying, any point in the feasible region that gives optimal value. Optimal value means it may be maximum value or minimum value of the objective function. We already learned what is objective function is called optimal solution. To explain this definition, I taken one example. In the question, they given this is the objective function and these are the constraints. Okay. So, we will find the solution which satisfies all the constraints. Whatever you got, that is feasible region. You observe here, this shaded part is there. Na? This is the feasible region. Okay. What they are saying, any point in the feasible region that gives maximum value or minimum value of objective function. See here, uh, we need to find the corner points. These corner points will substitute in given objective function. After substituting these corner points in the objective function, you observe here, you got some answers, right? So, at this point, you can observe this objective function gives the minimum value and at this point, this objective function gives the maximum value. So, for this, what is the optimal solution means this point, at this point, the function, at this point, the objective function is minimum. This is one optimal solution and at this point, the given objective function is maximum. So, this is also one optimal solution. So, based on the question, for example, for this problem, they are asking us to maximize. 
So this objective function is maximum at this point. So for this problem, if they ask maximize the objective function, then this is the optimal solution. What is optimal solution? Any point in the feasible region that gives optimum value, that means maximum value or minimum value of objective function is called optimal solution. I hope you understand this. If you like this video, please drop a like and share it with your friends. In case, if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, subscribe now. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.